Welcome to part three of the lesson on connecting different representations of functions. In example three, we're asked to use the description provided for the function f of x to complete the table. Then we're asked to graph the results and determine a symbolic rule or formula for the function f of x. So the description is the function f of x doubles the input value, then adds five to the result. Let's actually begin by writing the equation or formula for the function f of x. Notice how the input variable is x, so when we're told that f of x doubles the input value, it doubles x, which we can write as x times two, which is equivalent to two x. So let's write f of x equals two x. So far we've doubled the input, then f of x adds five to the result, so we have plus five. So f of x equals two x plus five, where the function f of x doubles the input and then adds five. And now that we have this formula for f of x, we can use this to complete the table, where here we're given several input values or x values, and we need to find the corresponding outputs or function values. So first, when the input is negative three, the output is going to be f of negative three, which means we substitute negative three for x into our function formula. So we'd have two times negative three plus five. Well, two times negative three is equal to negative six, so f of negative three equals negative six plus five, and therefore f of negative three is equal to negative one, which means when the input is negative three, the output is negative one, so the ordered pair would be negative three comma negative one. The ordered pair is always the input comma the output, or in this case, x comma f of x. The next input is negative two, and therefore the corresponding output is f of negative two, which equals two times negative two plus five. F of negative two is equal to, multiplying first we have negative four plus five. So F of negative two is equal to negative four plus five, which equals positive one. So the next order pair would be negative two comma one. The next input is negative one. So the corresponding output is F of negative one, which equals two times negative one plus five f of negative one is equal to negative two plus five, f of negative one is equal to positive three. So the next ordered pair is negative two comma three. Now we might start to notice a pattern here. Notice as the inputs increase by one, the outputs are increasing by two. And we can actually use this pattern to complete the table more quickly. Again, negative one plus two is one, one plus two is three, three plus two is five, five plus two is seven, seven plus two is nine, and nine plus two is equal to 11. If we don't recognize this pattern, of course we can keep finding each output or function value by performing substitution with the given input. Let's go ahead and check the output of 11 using the input of three. If the input is three, the output is f of three, which would be two times three plus five, f of three is equal to, two times three is six, and six plus five is equal to 11. So we did save quite a bit of time by recognizing the pattern from the table. When the input is three, the output is 11. So the remaining ordered pairs would be zero comma five, one comma seven, two comma nine, and three comma 11. Now for the next step, we'll plot the points given by the ordered pairs in order to graph the function where we always find the inputs along the horizontal axis and the outputs along the vertical axis. Notice how the least input value is negative three and the greatest input value is positive three. And for the outputs, the least value is negative one and the greatest value is positive 11. So because the least or smallest output is negative one and the greatest output is positive 11, let's sketch the horizontal axis lower than we normally do because we're not going to need much of the negative vertical axis. Let's go ahead and sketch the horizontal axis here. Again, this would be where we find the inputs or the x values. And we'll go ahead and sketch the vertical axis here as we normally do. This is where we find the outputs. Let's label the vertical axis f of x. The reason why we sketch the horizontal axis lower than we normally do is because the least output is negative one, so we don't need much of the negative vertical axis. Now let's go ahead and scale the horizontal axis 
we will scale it by ones, but using the provided grid, we'll let two grids be equal to one unit, so the positive horizontal axis will be one, two, three, four. To the left, we'd have negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. Notice all the inputs from the table do appear on the horizontal axis. Now let's also scale the vertical axis by ones, but we'll put a tick mark at every grid mark on the vertical axis. So one, two, three, four, and so on. In the negative direction, we would have negative one and negative two. Notice all the outputs appear on the vertical axis. So now we'll go ahead and plot the points given by the ordered pairs, where the first ordered pair is negative three comma negative one. So when the input is negative three, the output is negative one. So from the origin, we'd go left three units to where the input is negative three, and then down one unit to where the output is negative one. At this point, the input is negative three, and the output is negative one. The next ordered pair is negative two comma one. So we have an input of negative two and an output of one. The next order pair is negative one comma three, input of negative one, output of three. Next order pair is zero comma five, which happens to be the vertical intercept. The input is zero and the output is five. At this point, notice how the input is zero and the output is five. The next order pair is one comma seven, input one, output seven. Next order pair two comma nine, input two, output nine. The next order pair is three comma 11, input is three, output is 11. So the graph of f of x passes through these seven points, and because the graph is a line, f of x is a linear function. Where notice how the vertical intercept is the point zero comma five, and the horizontal intercept, this point here, is negative 2.5 comma zero. I hope you found this helpful.